Uh, so I'm just waiting for it to kick back. Uh, you know, it's it, is that it slight there, oh, discomfort of there it is. Yeah. I see it on on my dashboard, so it should be. I see up. live now. There from we listening go. To Pete Davidson, who's Pete Davidson? Oh, the comedian. He comedian? I guess you can call him that. Yeah. That's what they call Pete Davidson. Yeah. Didn't he buy like a boat by accident or something stupid? He accidentally bought a boat. How? Uh, what him? kind of boat it was? How do you know it was an accident? Well, okay. So uh, I was reading an article about someone that I didn't care about, and it sounds yeah. like it was Pete a, Davidson a, is known for someone you don't care about. Yeah, right. And it was like some useless comedian, and he and his friends were like drinking and online shopping, and they ended up in an investment pool. Spending two hundred and eighty thousand dollars on a portion of a ferry boat. Oh, okay. And then uh, now they're like, "What are we going to do with this ferry boat?" Ferry like, boat. Mm. What was the plan? Like to buy a business, I guess. Classic <laughs> Pete Davidson. I <laughs> accidentally is. bought a ferry. Uh, my parents died in nine eleven. Uh. Oh, is that what happened? Um. Yeah, I think so. That's why we're stuck with him. It's like a really funny joke. Except, like, not at all. <laughs> it's like, kind of terrible. <laughs> he was in the new Fast and Furious movie. Do you like those movies? Uh, I liked the original one. Mm. They've come a long way from stealing DVD players. They're going into space now. Yeah, I saw I saw number one. I saw yeah. Too Fast, Too Furious, which is really fucking bad. Mm -hmm. And then I saw, like, number five, the one where Paul Walker died. And they had did they did the really gay and I can say that because um, I have the LGBTQ streamer tag on because it's Pride oh. Month and I'm I'm super gay so they okay. had the really gay like goodbye scene for Paul yeah. Walker being dead that the whole yeah but I he's not dead one. in the movie so that right. was that it turns out that scene is not a metaphor that was a right. real <laughs> scene of him driving away and he really exists still in the movie which yeah. is very weird. He just exists a whole lot of quarter miles away from Vin Diesel, wherever he yeah, is. Yeah, but his wife and his kid are there, I think. I don't yeah. know. I can't keep track of who. They're very racially ambiguous in that movie. Like, the children are different colors, and uh, I don't know. They got a lot of... I think there's a white person. I think Jason Statham is the only white person. Um, well, isn't so Vin Diesel a white who. person? Or are you talking about the new one? I don't think Vin Diesel's white, is he? I don't know. Have you ever I thought seen he was like old... half black. -ish? Which half? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never can figure it out. Is it is it like left or right halves, tops or bottoms halves? Is it like on the inside black? So like he he's white on the outside, but he has sickle cell anemia. Is like that what happens? He's either a little bit black or very Italian. I think he's very Italian. Really? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Have you ever seen his old breakdancing instructional videos? No. <laughs> they're, they're a laugh riot, man. Like, he's sitting there, like, with his hands down. He's doing, like, the feet movement, like, really slow to do the, you know, like, where your feet go around in a circle on the ground. Yes. And it's like, uh, that's the widest way to describe that breakdancing move. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, you on the refrigerator box that you stole from a white man's house... Uh, you need to lay down, you need to plant your hands down on the ground and move your feet in like a semi Charleston, but in a circle. Uh, <laughs> Eventually, looked, you'll have to lift an arm. I looked up how to crip walk. There's crip walking tutorials out there <laughs> during that. Good. What was it? Two Super Bowls ago when Snoop was uh, when Snoop and Dr. Dre and Eminem were on there. Yeah, uh, my girlfriend <laughs> were up up after the Super Bowl, getting wasted and looking up how to crip walk. Uh, <laughs> tutorials of which there are a lot of so it's like a surprising amount you think the bloods would get better advertising like you gotta they don't the, the bloods the bloods did this thing you know the hand yeah. thing and then oh, they you're quit dead now i learned in high school that if you do that in public that you will be killed you better have a different color bandana on right now like no man i'm life. west i'm west side fuck 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 the east side uh i'll do east this all day shit. Um, they did that, which is probably the most innovative thing in gang, um, uh, uh, signage, like, history. This yes. is the most amazing thing ever created. But then they stopped innovating. Right. That's the problem with the Bloods. And then that's why the West Coast, uh, took over the Super Bowl. You know who really needs a Crip Walk tutorial? Hmm. Crippled Jesus. <sighs> He's gotta get out of that fucking chair. Uh, he has, uh, blonde hair now, I think. Really? 
Why? Yeah, somebody was hanging out with him. I don't know. It looks zazzy. I guess he wanted to spice things up. He wanted everyone to think he was going faster than he is, so he died very <laughs> blonde. Careful. Paul Walker did that, too. Like very supersonic. dangerous. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, don't jinx Cripple Jesus. Now he's going to get in a high-speed chair accident um, in an industrial park. Do you know he died where I went to high school, Paul Walker? Really? Yeah, the... The industrial park that he was in, that he wrecked that portion, uh, mm -hmm. that's like a that's like a couple blocks away from where I went to high school. Cool. So everybody that in my town thought that they like owned his death a little bit more than everybody else. It was yeah. very annoying. Yeah, it's like, well, he was he was on my street. It's like motherfucker died at my high school in my geometry class. <laughs> <laughs> he was at all kinds of angles. No, I. <sighs> it's uh. It was such a weird, like they made such a big deal out of it. And then, yeah, that was the the next Fast and Furious I saw. I skipped, the whole, like I skipped Tokyo Drift. Yeah. And I skipped because it had that kid from Sling Blade in there. And I just, I never yeah. wanted to ruin Sling Blade <laughs> with watching that kid like marveling over little rice burner cars moving around in uh, right. like an airport ramp or whatever. Yeah. It's very Parking strange. Parking garage. Yeah. Moving around, yeah. Instead, I wanted to see Ronda Rousey looking so butch that it was embarrassing. In, did you see her in that? Like they have her in a dress, but she looks like as wide as Shaq. Um, yeah, she's big. Yeah, which is weird because like I saw her in the. I remember when she was first fighting in UFC, like she's fighting Misha Tate, and I'm like, oh, both these women are pretty attractive. That's cool. And then she did like the the body episode of ESPN. It's like, well, she's kind of a little muscular for my taste, but she she looks good. And then she's in the Fast and Furious. It's like, holy fuck, she looks like a billboard. Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I did, I'm like, someone's like, that's Ronda Rousey. I'm like, that's not Ronda Rousey. I saw her in jeans on the That's a van. Fighter. Get out of here. Yeah. That's a mural on the side of a van. That's not Ronda Rousey. <laughs> oh, God. I disaster. always want to know who the demo is for these like muscled out women. Like, they have Michelle Rodriguez anyway, like the obvious lesbian. Right. So, who is this? Who is this yoked out uh, She Hulk for? I both Camelot and Drex have talked about really liking. They like the, muscular girls. Yeah, Camelot's like, oh, muscular thighs, man. I'm be like one of those crushed watermelons. And like Jesus, like, is he serious know, though? Is he? Yeah, he is. He likes the he likes like a jacked leg and ass section of a chick. I think I'm and, just too lazy in bed to get it. <laughs> you know, I, I see all those muscles. I'm like, oh boy, that looks like a lot of. A lot of, that looks like a, a, a half hour arm wrestling match with my dick. <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's like, I don't want to get chopped off if you clinch. That would be terrible. I barely even like the idea of a woman. So that, like that's <laughs> that's as much as I want to deal with. I don't want to deal with all this empowerment, please. Yeah, it's uh, it's not my thing. I, I the, the like an in shape woman, yes, but like not the, the yeah. muscular thing is terrifying, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, let me hit these uh, subscription thank yous and shitload of those real quick. And then we're going to start the movie. Uh, the okay. movie tonight is Blazing Saddles, the Mel Brooks classic. Um, you know, the one you know and love. So if you do not have Amazon Prime linked up to your Twitch, you may need to procure a different copy and start it when we start it. We'll give you timestamps as we get going. And they're going to say the N-word on this? Is yeah, they bleep it, it out? It doesn't actually run through Twitch. Oh, That's okay. the weird thing. It just all Twitch does is facilitate the syncing up of Amazon Prime because you can do a watch okay. party. And anyone can do a watch party on Amazon Prime. You don't have to have a Twitch account. Like you oh, click cool. the watch party and it sends like email links or whatever to people. Huh. Um, and so Twitch just facilitates that. So the movie doesn't actually play within Twitch. It just plays in the same browser next to it. It's weird. I don't. That's how they hmm. justify it. But yeah, you can have you can have nudity. You can I have see anything. Oh. Uh, any any movie on Amazon Prime can be watched this way. We're gonna see some schnitz and Gruben tonight. Then that's, there's that's no good. there's no nudity in Blazing Saddles. No, there's not. Yeah. Sadly. All right, here we go. Uh, Z32Z is subscribed. Thank you. Iggy927 has resubscribed for two months in a row. Fifteen total says, "Yay, I'm still here." Hey, me too, brother. I wake up and say that every day. Yes, he one is resubscribed for ten months in a row. Thirteen total. Thank you and gifted a sub to Steve Gosney. Hey, what's up, Steve? Stephen Crater resubscribed for four months. Another month. Welcome back. Hey, you too, buddy. Thank you. Uh, a dumb dumb eighty five resubscribed for seven months. Summonable trap is resubscribed for eleven months. Says shut up and take my money. Thank you. I will. Uh, Sangland eighty six resubscribed for seven months. Says Mel time go one. 
Mandy has resubscribed for 19 months in a row. She says, Nick, what the hell were you doing? Don't lie. We'll know when you lie to us. So mm. Dick's audio setup. Was, oh, yeah. Sorry. Was janky as fuck. And so yeah. any of the audio coming through his computer was coming back to the mic. And we had to get that knocked out. Otherwise, you would have heard the movie twice. And that would have been weird. Um S people like live audio troubleshooting though, right? Maybe we should have just done that on on the air. All 40 <laughs> minutes of audio troubleshooting. Oh. People love that. So my audience, I think, does because <laughs> whenever I do it, they're like, they don't even know what the audio setup is, and they're like yeah. just throwing out random suggestions. And yeah. all I want to do is eat a bullet so they can hear it <laughs> twice. Maybe oh, that's so a, fucking annoying. Maybe that's going to be like entertainment for us when we're like 20, 30 years from now is just a guy not knowing how OBS works and just the whole <laughs> chat, like super chatting solutions. Like, and it's all a bit, right? Like yeah. he just, his audio, his, he goes mute and it's just super chat. Oh yeah, yeah, do this, do this. Make sure that the input is this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got to go. Good stream. Good stream today. <laughs> good uh, Good pretend audio difficulty stream. Yeah, that'll be the whole thing. Uh, Stavzik has subscribed. Welcome. Sully209 has resubscribed for nine months. Says, Happy Pride Month, you half a fig. Oh, please. I'm a full fig, motherfucker. Rhett Navy Davy has resubscribed for nine months. Says, Hey, Nick, how's it going? Uh, pretty good, buddy. Mofo Q has resubscribed for 42 months. Thank you, brother. Stubbs11 wow. resubscribed for seven months. Thank thanks for the relief from this fucked up society. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> 404 John o John Not Found has resubscribed for four months as resub for watch party during tornadoes in June. Uh, Ui 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 99 has resubscribed for 32 months in a row. 33 total says, A Grizzly Wizly has resubscribed for 10 months. Holy super gay, he says. Yeah, no kidding, bud. Thank you. Yes, he won. Gifted a sub to Isom. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Check out ISOM too. Dick. This thing. Don't this get ISOM me started. Thing. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm staying, I'm staying the fuck out of it. And then everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody has to keep remembering that this should start it on my show. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> People forget what I can do. You don't have, I can pull everyone in. There's no, you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. I'm just sitting here sucking everybody into it. You're like a tornado looking at an Arkansas trailer park. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can get all of them. All of them at once. Key PhD uh, has resubscribed for six months. Says, thank you for this Juneteenth film for Kate Law. Yeah, you're oh, welcome. Yeah. Oh, happy Juneteenth, yeah. Dick. Happy Juneteenth. Oh, uh, my it, people it, are finally free. I'm dancing like this in the streets. You know what? The, the best thing about uh, Juneteenth becoming a holiday in our lifetimes is we got you and I and all of us got to enjoy the only Juneteenth that's not also simultaneously a memorial for the shootings on the previous Juneteenth. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good stand up joke, don't you think? I could, I think I that can kill good, it. That is good, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed with the numbers because I think they only tagged one guy, like one person died, right? And like 20 injured or something, like 10 or 20 injured. Oh, really? Was it, or well, am I thinking they're of celebrating a freedom, shooting? not aiming, I guess. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was, I, there might have been multiple Juneteenth timed shootings, which is funny because like you'd think the media would wait a day. Yeah. To be like, no, like black people don't shoot each other. <laughs> Those are white people tomorrow that shot. It's the people. only day where the media reports on black on black shooting is oh, Juneteenth. Oh, is six dead? Six dead. Oh. Uh, at, well, I guess that's more depressing than one. Yeah. Was that the uh, one? At, was that the one in Houston? Because I I saw one is like Willowbrook, whatever, and I was like, I used to go to Willowbrook Mall all the time when I was a kid. Did you see CNN running that thing on like? Actually, black dads are great. They're here and they're <laughs> queer and they're fantastic. I was like, why is this on CNN? Like, what? Why was? Why is this the biggest news Wait. today of Father's Day? You didn't see that? CNN. No, I don't watch CNN. Well, they tweeted it. <laughs> it was like, no, let me find it. It was like, actually, there's a lot of stereotypes on black dads, and they're they actually are here all the time. Um, they're all at CNN. That's the thing. CNN has taken the dads from the black community and just <laughs> put them all in their building in Atlanta. <laughs> and they got these like Carlton-looking motherfuckers. Let me find it. It was such a jarring and weird thing. Oh, 
my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I don't think anyone was thinking about black dads today until you guys brought it up. No, they'd, they'd all forgotten them because they haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> uh, it was like, and actually the stats agree with, with us that black dads are great. Um, ah, shit, I can't find it. I, I don't know if Scott Adams weighed in on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. How can I send, can I send this to you on the StreamYard chat thing? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Oops. Um. Tell me this is not like a weird CNN article. Oh no, it got community noted. Oh no. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. Why go, would the community note this? Black fathers oh. are often portrayed as absent or distant, but that isn't what most people experience according to both data and black dads themselves. <laughs> oh, they went straight to the source on black dad. This Father's Day, we asked black dads how they're doing and they said we're doing great. Such bias portrayals are often based on who is telling the story. I love that they had to get a stock photo for at least one of the dads. I know. <laughs> one in the middle. <laughs> and the, can... li the lighting on the stock photo is like very uh, uh, off on some of them. You know, it's yeah. like this is you got an iPhone picture over here. And then this is like a headshot in the middle. And yeah. then this looks like AI on the left. That doesn't even look like a real guy. Interestingly, my father-in-law uh, wears the same denim jacket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this guy, like, like a puffy '80s denim jacket. So let's see. Oh no! Oh no! Here's the community. Yeah, box. yeah. Community notes roasted CNN. On <laughs> <laughs> oh. Percentage of children living absent their biological fathers. Black children oh. sixty-four. Oh god! Damn it. Oh god! Hispanic uh, children, 42, white, 24, uh, and Asians rounding out the victory lap with 16%. Ouch, 64%. CNN, you're not doing black dads any favors today, guys. Actually, <laughs> actually according to data, black dads are around at least 46% of the time. <laughs> at least one third of black dads are 36. with their families. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do math. <laughs> This is, hold on. We're going to start the movie in a second, but this is relevant to Blades and Saddles, I think. Uh, as he was growing up, Jeremy Givens says the narrative he heard around Black Fathers was different than the one he lived. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you, had, <laughs> you had a dad like that. God, this is awful. This is fucking awful. Fathers are important for helping their children see all they can be, said Dr. Jennifer Noble, a licensed psychologist based in Los Angeles. Very useful, Jennifer. Yeah, uh, thanks. What we know about dads. Who is this for? Who is this article for? I don't know. Like, because. It's not for black they... guys, right? Like, they don't want to read about their dads. When Tambuzi thinks of fatherhood, he said he thinks of his young daughter running through the house with a smile on her face. Huh. Uh, okay. How to write this narrative. Wait. Uh... It's not a narrative. It's data. Like, they don't I even think... say the data in here at all. No, they just say that the data disagrees, I think, at the beginning. 70% of black fathers who live with their children were most likely to have bathed the dress, changed, or helped their child with the toilet every day, compared uh, with their white 60% or Hispanic 45% counterparts. Well, okay. Wait, what? That's the data that supports it? They help them use the more help them use the toilet? They're they're trying to say that the black dads who did stay around are better are than, more involved. Yeah. Yeah, are better. Are better. Than, are better. Oh, okay. You want to <laughs> oh start a race God. war? Let's do that on Father's Day, guys. That sounds was... like a good idea. What a fucking weird article. Why even do it? Like, why even? Do I don't know. Matter? I don't know. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, uh, Ryan, the editor, has resubscribed for 20 months, says we'll get around to it one of these days, I guess. Lol. Yes, we will, brother. Very soon. Uh, BD Tejas has resubscribed for 30 months. Thank you. Mandy says made banana pudding, especially for this movie. Misfit Electronic Repairs, resubscribed for 11 months. Thank you. Uh, Ulrika. Ulrika has resubscribed for six months. Dig Dug Media sub has subscribed. Welcome. Stardust Crusaders, resubscribed for four months in a row, 11 total. Thank you. Malik Foxen has resubscribed for 28 months. Says, sup, y'all. Uh, Angris17 has resubscribed for four months. Says, take some Bezos bucks. Gladly. Just like uh, his new chick will, too. McKenzie or whatever. Doc Bruski 514 has resubscribed for seven months. Thank you, Jay Com Conman, Cornman, Jay Cornman, resubscribed for 14 months. Says I've never seen Blazing Saddles. Don't bully me. Oh wow, bro, you're, you're in, in for, for a treat. Why would I yeah. bully you? I envy you. I saw this with my dad for the first time when I was a kid. 
Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, well, I, we had it was a family movie night, so we had we were all sitting around, and my my dad and mom were like, "Hey, I don't think Nick's seen Blazing Saddles." I was like seven or something. <laughs> <laughs> no dad i haven't actually and then they just put it on it was great um i didn't understand most of the jokes back then because i wasn't quite racist i was only mildly racist at seven yeah i think my dad waited till i would understand the jokes to show it to me well see i uh i grew up in a poor neighborhood in houston so i rode the school bus with even poorer black children mm. and our school bus got pulled over by the police a couple times and it's like an old white guy with a baton. He would, I remember, because I sat in seat seven on the left side of the bus. I you had tiny. numbered seats, like a prison? Yeah. Oh, you had to, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the, these- I thought these you were people, like a trust fund guy. You're taking prison buses to school <laughs> as a kid? I, the trust fund narrative is very funny, given my past, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. But um, yes, yeah, so this guy, <sighs> like, uh, this, seat seven's like the fourth seat behind the driver. And um, this cop gets on because these two big black kids, huge to me, they were fourth grade, right? Yeah, sure. I was I was in uh, first grade going to Inwood Forest Elementary. And he has to get on the bus because they were fighting. And he's slamming his fucking nightstick on the that metal frame of every bus seat. And he slams it on the one in front of me. And I'm like shitting myself. Like, <laughs> I'm getting arrested. <laughs> oh, my God. It was terrible. Why am I having this experience? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was fucking terrified all the time yeah, uh, yeah. as a kid. Because, like, uh, I, I was the minority in my school. Right. Like, there were two white kids, two Indian kids who were better than all of us at math, and the rest were black kids and then a couple of Hispanic kids. It was fucking nuts. Jesus. And then I moved to Minnesota, and it's all white people. It's just snow. Uh, TSM 321 is resubscribed for six months. Goes 999 resubscribed for 18 months. Oh, Daisy has subscribed. Hargens has subscribed. Welcome you to Tamara Holloway resubscribed for 35 months. says almost three years and gamer 635 says the sheriff is near. All right. That's it. Thank you. Okay. We're going to start the movie. Sorry. That took so long. That's just yeah. how, that's how I do things. <clears throat> um, all right, guys, uh, blazing saddles. We're going to get started and um, we'll be talking over it from time to time. Crazy. Uh, but yeah. Um, all right. It's so like title starting so the watch party. Do I have to? Will it just start automatically? It'll just start for you. Holy shit, it did. I think. Yeah. Join this watch party now. Yeah. Oh, I got to sign into this shit. No, this is a great uh, system. This is one of my favorite things to okay. do on the internet. The fact Can that you watch they, porn with this system? If it's, if it's on Amazon Prime for free. Ah, oh, damn it. So, like, I don't think Katomi Tanaka's discography is on Amazon Prime for free. Cool. This movie's on. And you can't hear mine? You cannot no, I can't hear, hear it. Okay. Oh, it just fucked up for me, though. I got to refresh, but that's fine. It always does this. Oh, yeah. Probably because I went to a black school. Uh, Mr. Old Boy says, hi, does this, does this work in the app? I don't know. Some apps. Is it being recorded on your, like, Amazon thing? Um, no, the replay will play just our part. Like, it won't play the movie. Oh, cool. He turned dark night into day. Uh, oh, shit. We got, uh, Mistis Nikotos sub resubscribed for eight months. Um, Joker Harley resubscribed for nine months. And Spicy Misty is re resubscribed for seven months. Mandy says, click your avatar in the top right corner. Drop down menu, select dark mode. Turn then on the movie window in the bottom right, hit theater mode. Enjoy. How many good movies did Mel give or did uh, Mel Brooks have? This and Spaceballs. Uh, History of the World Part Two. Yeah, oh, one, Part Two part was that no. the Part that One, the new not one? Part Two. I they couldn't do the Part, part two. two. Well, Part Two they did on Netflix, and it was just too much like celebrities oh, acting, they actually, doing improv. Actually, fucking the joke was that there wasn't a Part Two. That was the whole. Yeah, they wrecked the joke. <laughs> they went ahead and did that for you. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> did you see the new Netflix Black Mirror? Wait, they did. They did another one. I stopped watching in season four with all the. They did the same thing. 
oh, all the celebrities want to be on Black Mirror because yeah. it'll be cool. And it was just <clears throat> shit after shit. that. Yeah, the first episode of Black Mirror, the new one, the new season, was uh, a woman telling another woman about her bad day at work. And I said, uh, no, I don't think so. Well, that does sound pretty like a nightmare. Yeah, this is a dystopia. <laughs> ah, I got to get out of here. <laughs> Uh, oh, someone mentioned, uh, yeah, Young Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. Great. And then uh, yeah. there was, um, what was the other one? Uh, fuck. Uh, what the hell was the other? Someone mentioned it. The producers. The producers and Men in Tights. Of course. Men in Tights, fuck. <laughs> I didn't even... <laughs> Oh shit, we already got racism happening. Yeah, I didn't this movie was like my first exposure to being racist in a funny way, I think. Like yeah. this funny. <laughs> I'm not going to get used to all the n-words in this. <laughs> Which is what every white person says during gentrification. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to be cast as like a racist in a period piece? You get to do everything. whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was um God, who was the who's the actor? He did a movie where he was like a the leader of the clan and then he had a a reversal and like changed his ways at the very end, but it oh, meant shit. the whole movie he got to act as racist <laughs> as possible. I'm like, did he did he produce this just so he could do this and get away hey, with it? Just that was Ed Norton, wasn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> and then at the, at the very end, all the black people are like, you're awesome. You did it. And then he's giving speeches about the movies. And black people are like, yeah, that was great. But really, you just acted like a huge racist for an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love the way he braces for that hit. Yep. Uh, uh, sir, sir, I think he said it. Could slaves get away with being this big of a pain in the ass? Like, would eventually, would they get tired of whipping them? I think so. I don't think these are actually slaves, though, right? Like, these are... Well, you know what I mean, like, before yeah. this, too. Yeah, I mean, I think they just... They'd normally just beat them. Yeah. Any any lip, you just hit them. That's what Thomas Jefferson did. <laughs> but eventually, you gotta get sick of beating them. I'm like, all right, you guys are just gonna be smart asses all the, all the time. Intimidator says, hey, Nick, do you know how you can tell us when a squirrel has to be sent to the insane asylum when they start acting a little bit nuts? Here's to 37 months. Thank you for that dad joke on Father's Day. I still hate you for it.
The actor who played Wyatt was actually Derek Chauvin. <laughs> you think they would have noticed when they were laying the rail in the quicksand that there was quicksand there? You know, um, after watching Hell on Wheels, did you watch that show? No, I heard. It was I don't know good. how much engineering went into uh, laying tracks and stuff. I assume it was a lot, but maybe they were just kind of guessing as they went. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how much quicksand there is, though. I thought quicksand would be a a larger part of my life when I was a kid. Yeah, you you find out it's like every, but quicksand is actually quick, though. That's the the other lie of the movies. Oh, okay, it's really. Like, you're like, oh, quicksand's a slow thing, but it's like yeah. actually just equal parts water and sand, and you just you like sink in it like it's a fucking lake. Mm. It doesn't like slowly, like a glue, no. slowly eat you up, like a Treyu's horse in the Neverending Story. <laughs> yeah, fucking Artax. <laughs> uh, I think they don't train you right as a kid. I thought there would be quicksand everywhere, but actually, it's just herpes everywhere. <laughs> Guy says, pause the movie. This is like watching a movie with my girlfriend, but a man's voice. <laughs> Are we not supposed to talk? I'm sorry. No, we, no we're absolutely supposed to talk. Absolutely that's supposed to talk. They can okay. independently control our volume. So that's on them. Wow. It's their own fucking fault if they're listening to So they can just us. go listen to the movie. They can just go watch the movie and fuck off and just know that other people are watching the movie. Right. Be still, Taggart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is how I picture myself in 15 years. <laughs> how old is he in this movie? I have no fucking idea. Let's see. <laughs> but I always want to think that he's older than me because otherwise I'm yeah. old. <laughs> yeah. Like what? He was 47 something... in this movie. Oh shit, that's not it's that's not, not 15 off, years Nick. older than me. Nope. It's not far off, buddy boy. <laughs> God damn it. Can you imagine when Mel Brooks is like, and then he's gonna look out the window and there's gonna be a medieval executioner in like scale mail armor. Yeah. But he's like half retarded and he's gonna be hanging people constantly in a horse. gallows. Yeah. Can be done. <laughs> Worked for Egypt. <laughs> oh, damn it. He raped the shit out of them. No. 
Oh my God. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I didn't get that. Have you ever seen Cannibal the Musical? No, is it good? It's the Trey Parker and Matt Stone one. Yeah, it's their first right? movie. Yeah. It's quirky, but it's fucking hilarious at the same yeah. time. This movie reminds me of it a lot. I mean, obviously inspired. Yeah. Have you Why seen High cows? Anxiety? No. Yeah. That's a it's Mel Brooks Harvey, movie, right? Yeah, that Harvey Corman guy's in it. Uh, it's okay. I can't remember anything from it, though. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Speedy the Unsilent dropped 10 gift subs. Thank you, Speedy. High Anxiety was a spoof of Hitchcock. Yeah, really it's got all the, it's like a psych, uh, psychiatric hospital, so it's got a bunch of those tropes in it. Sure. No, I never oh, saw man, it. Oh, man, that's a hard spill for that horse. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's me right there. Why is he so lathery? First Methodist Church. <clears throat> Spices, this movie was done in black and white. Wait, what? <laughs> he said, this movie should have been done in black and white. I was making a shitty race joke. Oh, 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 oh. This town is turning into shit. <laughs> Cattle raped. Is that this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> raped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Cracker crooker. <laughs> this sounds like a Biden speech. Oh, that guy. Give that man a harumph. I just need like a couple scenes from this movie. The uh, the throw out your hands, stick out your tush, hands on your hips, yeah. give it a put. I can't like think about anything else till I hear that. <laughs> it's like at the fucking end. I know. As soon as it starts, like, ah. I sing that stupid song all day. 15 schnitz and grubles is too much. <laughs> I should have been keeping track of N-words and F-slurs. 
Oh, is anyone autistic in the chat that has been counting uh, the racial slurs that have been happening? Can we get a racial slur counter in the chat? Yeah. Rubber. One F word and at least two N words. Someone said 24. Yeah. Someone said 25. 25 N words? Yeah, but I don't know if that's true. It's got to be one F slur at least. Yeah. And big mistake. Malik Foxen says, feel like this is the perfect movie to have Dick on for. What's up, Dick? Hey. Burn It All 07 has resubscribed for three months. Thank you. Oh, is this finally we get to see the secretary's tits? <laughs> we can only dream. I look her up every time. Let's see here. <laughs> I do that when I watch Clue. Uh, Robin Hilton. Wait, was that Mad Black Atheist? Did you just do a walk by? <laughs> he pulled up. <laughs> yes, here we go. Maybe this is where I got into redheads with huge tits. Or maybe it was Star Star Trek. <laughs> God, what an asshole. <laughs> it's the most accurate depiction of a governor I've ever seen, though. Yeah. Headley. <laughs> He's got the fucking boxers on. <laughs> Think of it as your secretary. <laughs> She had Katy Perry's haircut before Katy Perry was born. Oh, yeah. God, that was the funniest line I'd ever heard as a kid. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give the governor a harumph. 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 His face is terrified. <laughs> Phenomenal outfit. Good lingerie. <laughs> Sometimes when you get back into the 60s and 70s, the lingerie is really fucking weird. It's got yeah, too much like material what? all over. I don't know. It's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, what's up, Epic Mike? How you doing, brother? Glowing butt plugs. Okay. Sorry, I looked at my locals chat. What are they saying? They put a picture of like a glowing butt plug, like with an LED light called oh. Ho Underglows. <laughs> Does it, how bright is the light? Can you see it from? It looks like a, this chick's walking around in a skirt. It looks like a Mitsubishi. <laughs> Ground effects coming out yeah. the bottom. Mm. Anit? Yeah, that's a. I didn't know that was a slurb. I still don't know. A knit? A knit. A knit. Oh. Yeah. I thought he just got cut off saying. Me too. But then the second time he says knit. I've never heard that outside of this one scene in this movie. There's a lot of like bonking head comedy in this movie. <laughs> yeah, they they used to do slapstick in a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is the, that's the feature of Mel Brooks movies though. Like for as funny as they are, there's a bunch of stuff that just is completely gone. Like him hitting yeah. his head is not funny. No, uh, he he really likes goofy names too, like yogurt, right? Yeah. And well, and Headley Lamar, Headley Lamar. Dream job. Wolfie Wolf VT is resubscribed for 35 months. Says, hi, Nick. Great movie. Hey, thanks. I made it just for you. That's a pretty fly outfit, but you can't wear it as a white guy. That's too much camel. Too much Man, camel. a lot color. of camel. Yeah. I always wanted to be black just because you could wear better suits and shoes. Yeah. Death Wish gifted a sub to the Veto Show. Oh, thank you, Deathwish. <laughs> Do you have any black clothes that you're resisting wearing because they just don't work for you? Um, no, I used to. I used to have a pair of Uggs <laughs> when I was okay. uh, when I was in high school. Yeah, they were wheat colored. I was like, "Look, I'm black." Ah, you had a pair of Uggs. Where would yeah. you wear? Where would you want to wear those? Like to school? Uh, yeah, I did. I wore them to school and stuff. Uh, oh wow! It's like I'm gonna nice. try out this thing where I pretend, like, be one of those white kids who pretends to be black. It didn't last yeah. long though. Did you have a sidekick at that point? Yeah, Drexel. Yeah, I mean the phone. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't have a. Uh, I didn't have a phone in high school. Oh wow. I got a cell phone when I, I think I graduated. No, I, I might have. You know, one it's my really, year. it's really hard to watch this movie and not say the racist lines. I'm realizing yeah. now that every time I watch this movie, I repeat all the racist lines, and it's hard not to. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't because 
Plus, saying no. it on Twitch will get get us in trouble. Well, get me in trouble. Yeah, I like having I a bank account. Yeah. <laughs> sheriff is a near. <laughs> saying the sheriff. No, I'm worried. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I love his fucking speech here. Yeah, a, a laurel and hearty handshake to N our word. very own. <laughs> own. Oh yeah, yeah. To our very own, own Obama. N word. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny every time. Yeah. This they really immortalize this movie by not letting us say the N word anymore. Because <laughs> all of these jokes we can't do. <laughs> Excuse me while I whip <laughs> this out. <laughs> He's not bluffing. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, you're fine. Welcome back. I mean, you didn't go anywhere Thanks. visually. My thing got cut off. Oh, that's very dangerous. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> oh, help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> help me! I love the town council. All their names are Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> That fat guy's been in a ton of stuff on the right, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's he's in a he's in a bunch of movies. Ooh. <laughs> Is that David Huddleston? Is that the fat guy? He was in I think uh, that's him. Uh Oh, it's oh, a big Brother, Lebowski. Art thou? Oh, yeah, he's the big Lebowski. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He's been Holy in some good shit. movies. Tons of them, yeah. He's in uh, Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? Papio, yeah. Papio Danny or whatever. Yeah. God, I didn't really. He was already kind of old in this movie. This is what liberals pretend school board meetings in Florida are like. <laughs> I kind of want to send that same letter to my governor. Yeah. Did you see the um, the Armenians versus Antifa in Glendale fight last no. week? No. 
Uh, the school, the Armenian parents were um, pissed off that the school didn't want to show them what they were uh, teaching the kids about trans people or whatever <laughs> they were doing. So they showed up. They took a day off from uh, their auto body shops and uh, showed up <laughs> to protest. And Antifa showed up. Um, so the Armenians kicked the shit out of them. <laughs> and that guy who threw me into the concrete was there. He got arrested. Did, and it turned out that kicked? he had a, what's that? Did he get his ass kicked? I don't know. Uh, I hope so. He got arrested and it turned out he uh, he had a charge for like a child sex crime. Oh. On his yeah, on his record that they didn't prosecute, but it's on there. So I'm trying to figure out what they were, what they didn't prosecute him for. Oh god, it's just it's like eventually it's like it's just all the time. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like Rittenhouse, like man, how did he shoot? How did he shoot a pedo? Like he shoots well, three they're all people out. Batting a thousand. Shifty10293 is resubscribed for 15 months. It's as usual. Twitch is screwing me out of watch. Enjoy the movie on my behalf. It will. Oh, no. Oh, God. I've had nights like this. That's not even that much when you think about it. That was, there's just like three or four shots. It's the weight of the bottle that makes it hard. When? It was the no stop chug too, just yeah, like Leahy's chug. <laughs> <laughs> did they have black white uh buddy cop movies before this well they had that the other one, one the first? gene wilder's in all of them i think because he did yeah. that see no evil hear no evil with him and richard pryor that movie's uh, fucking yeah, great yeah, yeah. I do, I do. Yeah. Well, then he had, uh, what, 48 Hours, right? With Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. Yeah. What was the first one? What was the first black, white? First black, white buddy cop Buddy movie. cop movie. 48 Hours? No way. The Waco Kid, I heard that guy was fire. That wasn't a good joke. Steady as a rock. <laughs> Someone saying uh, Silver Streak with Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. Hmm. Oh, yeah, 76. That makes sense. Get it, King. Yeah. Yeah. This is before Gene Wilder was turning children into blueberries and shit. <laughs> Willy Wonka is kind of a horrifying movie when you think about it. Yeah. Um, I don't think Roald Dahl liked that one. The first one. How does he not feel it? Like, how does he not realize it's not his hand? <laughs> See, I think that's an inception moment. Did he yeah. take the king before he clasped his hands or take While it so it fast when his... he opened his hands? Oh, I see. Yeah. Because he should have felt it in his hand. Yeah. Well, he's got adrenaline going, you know. Right. It was a very intense moment, actually. Maybe black people's hands work differently. I heard they do. No, actually, they work the same because they're white on the inside. Oh, I see. Yeah.
That's my nightmare. This exact scenario? Yeah. Well, anytime turning around being face to face with a six year old kid. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. Mm. Mm. Why does the jail have so much whiskey just lying around? Uh, confiscated into evidence? I guess. Was it illegal to drink whiskey in 1875? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could drink whiskey more frequently in 1875 than now even. Uh, yeah, because it's the only thing that's clean. Like, yeah. water wouldn't be clean. It'd have all these parasites in it. Be the same as drinking Purell now. Yeah. You'd basically have to drink whiskey if you're going to drink anything. Yeah, that was the same excuse the Jews used. All right, we got to drink wine. With like, wine. This Roman water is disgusting. <laughs> How would the Sioux Nation be? The Sioux were in Minnesota. <laughs> why did they do this as a shitty stop motion model? Like, why? They have no, all sped the, up. That's just sped these... up. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best they could do. We're watching right now the forming of the Indiana Pacers. Oh my God. <laughs> See, when I was a kid and saw this, this is like the funniest scene. I me. know. <laughs> I wish I could have seen this in theater. Is this just adults sitting around laughing hysterically <laughs> at a bunch of guys <laughs> farting? <laughs> like, oh, God. Going out on a date. This is an entire episode of Ren and Stimpy compressed into 12 seconds. Like yeah. Just Not even very good fart sound effects either. No, awful. <laughs> so dr uh, drunk three PO, mm -hmm. drunk three PO always DMs me on uh, Instagram and TikTok links to videos, and it's just of uh, mentally handicapped people farting. <laughs> <laughs> Every it's like a whole genre of video. Oh, man, that looks like a good spoonful of beans, though. It's very British. I do not like beans that much. Like, no, every time like I go to a family like potluck or cookout and there's like a big pot of beans there. I'm like, do, mm. do you guys like actually 
Like there's hot dogs, there's brats, there's chicken, there's pork. And then like, I cannot imagine just slapping down some beans on my plate. Savage Gerbil says, I remember reading a conversation thread between deaf people all telling the stories of how they learned farts make noise. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, no. <laughs> they couldn't feel it rumbling? Well, but they wouldn't know there was no, like, they just... I like guess just, so. <gasps> like, at some point, they would figure out that the rumbling was, like... That was the sound wave escaping yeah. your cheeks. Yeah. Why <laughs> smoking weed? God damn it. He went helium to Irish, then back to Gene Wilder. Did you see Conor McGregor punch out that mascot? No. What what kind of mascot was it? Like a basketball game mascot. He's no. like at an NBA game, and he like the mascot came up and he just, <laughs> just jacked him. Oh yeah, and then did he actually get messed up, or was that a? Uh, he allegedly uh, went to the hospital and was like actually injured. I did see that. Yeah, he hit him pretty hard. Miami Heat mascot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the mascot was smug. He had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> does weed make you talk like you're uh, uh, on helium? Was it that does, a, was that it a does thing? for me, but no one else I've ever met. Oh, it does for you. Okay. It makes I, me so fucking slow. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damn, woman. Uh. I, I hate it. <laughs> I really hate like how I how I feel on it, so I don't do it very often. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it it's uh, fully legal in Minnesota in on August first, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They finally Way to go. Are I they mean, taxing the shit out of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, we did a thing here where you have to have been in prison to get a license to sell it. Or grow that's, it or anything? Yeah, that's well, you don't have to here, but they prioritize that. They, they get uh, the priority picks on licenses. Them and black people, which yeah, probably yeah. like the same group anyway. Yeah, um, that's kind of rude. Uh, but they didn't. They ran out of licenses before they ran out of criminals here. So <laughs> every weed business or whatever is just half owned by a felon. Um. Or they get a check cut to them. Yeah, because, yeah, you have to, like, you're like, well, look, we obviously don't want you around the business or right. the money or the yeah. weed. But, like, we'll just write a check if you sign our formation document. Yeah, it's really annoying. Ooh, an anthrax vaccine. That sounds good. God, this is my dream. Punching a fucking horse in the face, <laughs> knocking it over. That is, mm, I hate horses. You do. They have it coming, dude. Have you ever yeah. like? Have you ever seen a horse where you're like, yeah, actually, this is a charming horse? No. That seems very dehumanizing. Your cock is named horse. AG Biochemist says my cock is named horse. Well, I'll punch that too. I don't care. 
What don't you like about horses? Anything. Like they kick you. Like oh, they'll yeah. throw you off if like you sit on them wrong while they pee or whatever. They're fucking weird. Like I don't get it. People like them. People do love them. We don't have a lot of horses out here. And the thing is, like, it's like, oh, I want a horse. It's like, well, do you know how fucking irritating it is to take care of these goddamn things? Yeah. Like, they're huge. You got to brush them, feed them. You can, like, walk them around like a dog, except worse. <laughs> a literal fucking Looney Tunes joke. <laughs> See, this just doesn't seem like this would be in my job description. This is soaping just, a guy up. I need we got to go back to me. this. This is tradition. We got to go back to soaping each other up in the tub. You work <laughs> prettier than a twenty dollar whore. <laughs> You always got to be the guy in the bathtub, though. Always yeah. be getting soaped. Don't, like, don't soap someone else. <laughs> you got to take turns, or maybe you could have the Cialis bathtub. Oh, yeah. They're I two like at it. the same time. Mm -hmm. I like that they make the black man's kryptonite joke here like decades before Undercover Brother did. <laughs> But I do prefer Denise Richards to this chick. Yeah. Uh, have you seen? God, have you seen their daughter, Charlie Sheen and Denise Richards? Doesn't she look just like Denise Richards used to look? It's cr it's crazy. Uh, I, I I saw some article where she was getting into sex work, but I didn't f I didn't find any sex work being done. Uh, mm. Yeah. She. Let's see. Ribbit. Nick wants like to recreate was, uh... this scene with Quarter Black Garrett. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Why would they? They're a black guy. Woke. That's woke. Woke comedy. Oh. Social comedy. Oh, yeah, that was. It was very woke. <laughs> That's it. Canceled. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry about, about that. Sorry about the up yours <laughs> inward. I wish someone just bring me a fucking pie. Oh, God. Like, I occasionally get so desperate for pie. Like, I'll go to the grocery store and buy one. Yeah, my dad's a pie guy. He'll go, like, uh, any trip that we ever go on. Mm -hmm. If we end, ever end up anywhere like random, it miraculously is near some pie store that he wanted to go to. If you ever get a chance, or if he ever gets a chance, he's got to go to Osseo, Wisconsin, to the Norsky Nook. Okay. They have a shitload of award-winning pies. They're really What good. is it called? The no uh, What Nook? The Norsky Nook. Norsky Nook. Okay. Like, think of the whitest, most Norwegian name you can get, and that's what yeah. it is. They have good breakfast, too. We got a Norwegian town uh, north of here. They have a shitload of pies. What's your favorite kind of pie? I don't know. I'm not like a pie guy. Uh, I only eat apple pie. I don't eat any other kind. Like <laughs> it's very white. Yeah, I'm white. Look. Yeah. Lemon meringue is the only pie. That sounds terrible. Lily legs. <laughs> Such a creep. She's not even that hot. No. It's a jab. Have your wife make you a cinnamon apple? No, my wife makes terrific pies, but like. You got to make them when the pot, like the apples are in season. You make a bunch, throw them in the freezer, and then they take an hour and 45 minutes to cook. It's like I could just go to the grocery mm -hmm. store to get a quick pie. Mm -hmm. Get a little pie fix. Yeah, just a little one.
<laughs> oh, God, that would fucking hurt, though. Right in the back of the skull with your teeth? Yeah. Cinnamon roll apple pie? That's just too complicated. Just apple pie, though. Like, just apple. I like banana cream pies. Those are pretty good. This song is fucking riotously funny in a very subtle way. I feel like this should this should be the preface to Steve Buscemi's explanation of the Like a Virgin song in uh, Reservoir Dogs. What's the, what's his explanation of uh, Like a Virgin? That like she's such a whore that sex doesn't feel anything for oh, her at all yeah. until like the one yeah. guy comes around and just blows her out. Yeah. So one of the cheerleaders on our squad in high, in uh, college was talking to my buddy, and she's like, "You know, I'm just tired of sex. Like I have it all the time, constantly. And it's like sure. it's, it's just. I think of her when I watch this scene. How you doing, Bria? Was she hot? Yeah, she was pretty hot. Uh, she's not very large chested. Not uh -huh. really my type, but. Yeah. But I mean, she was pretty, like, she had a pretty face. She was very in shape, very athletic. Always too soon. <laughs> was she smashable? I mean, yeah, like, she was pretty, like, again, clearly. She's cute. Well, I mean, to be fair, there aren't there are like bad chicks who just get blown out like crazy because yeah. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> Like, this would be a pretty good show if you got nothing else. <laughs> a bunch of weird German guys come out. <laughs> Rumor has it this is how Taylor Swift sounds before the reverb. Oh. <laughs> she, sorry that actually is funny when she misses the fucking thing <laughs> they're loving it they're just cheering for to be fair in 1875 these uh German helmeted soldiers <laughs> coming out with gay men. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty riotous. <laughs> I can just imagine Sneeko popping up being like, see that body count, that body count right there. <laughs> oh God, I'm so fucking tired of the manosphere. Ah. <laughs> uh... I can't hear any more about what kind of girl they want to fall in love with. I swear they're just trying to bang all the chicks who come on their shows. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Sneeko turns into goo with any girl he talks to.
Oh, future Hoffer. Yeah, I saw your I saw your tip. Just a tip from before. Hold on. Uh, he says, "Hey Nick, it's my thirtieth birthday. I picked up my first bottle of bourbon. Was hoping I could do a drink with the law pope." Yeah, man. Uh, let me let me pour. I finished my whiskey. I'll, let me get a little bit more. Do you have to get your miter too? No, no, no. Because the miter is for special occasions. Oh, I see. I got some Eagle Rare Ten Year, buddy. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. one. Yeah, my mm. uh, liquor store owners becoming a, a buddy of mine. Work, oh. You gotta, you gotta work on this. So when he gets uh, good bottles and he'll keep them in his office rather than put them on the shelf because he knows I'll buy them. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to give this some random person who doesn't like whiskey. Like just, yeah. oh, I'll just buy this one. No. Anyways, cheers. Uh, Future Hoffer. Happy birthday, buddy. All for you. You guys are, you really are, are out in the uh, old West out there getting single bottles of good whiskey. It, so, um, I got these boss hogs, um, whistle pig boss hogs. They're like really, really nice bottles. Uh, they cost, they cost like 400 bucks when they come out mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and every time he gets them, if he ever gets them, I buy them immediately. Like, yeah. uh, cause they're, they're so fucking hard to come by. So I buy them all. So he always sells all of them within like a week of getting them and they won't send him more. Cause they're like, well, you know, you're like a small shop. It's like, yeah, yeah. If they sent five of them, yeah. Well, I mean, they'd be sold. I mean, like, I'm not the only guy who does it either. But God, it's so fucking irritating. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get a. <laughs> is it, <laughs> is it true what they say about your? <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Is this movie why white guys are so scared of black guys stealing their women? Maybe. If you ate 15 of those, you would feel so fucking terrible. Yeah. I can't believe they had a Cuban racist joke in there even. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be the same baby. <laughs> That's stupid. That whole dumb song was for that five second <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> Man, <I've... laughs> I know a couple of my men in the chat have woken up like that. You're like, fuck. <laughs> I'll be right back. Word. Mongo's a modern day Jesus Christ. Look at the symbolism. After three days, he's coming back. And like that contemporary Christian song, he will break these chains. Mongo, no go. Mandy says, it's all right, Nick. We'll just tell your wife you ate the apple pie. I'm 
not going to have sex with an apple pie. That's weird. Did you see uh, all the Christians that I pissed off on Twitter? Oh, God, how'd you do that? I said that they shouldn't protest in the road at Dodger Stadium. They had a big oh, protest because of that, for like, the weird gay thing, that's your drag thing or whatever. That's yeah, going the on. drag nuns uh, yeah. were getting to go on the field. So Christians protested, but they protested by blocking uh, the entrance to the parking lot of Dodger Stadium during rush hour, right before a game. And God, uh, you know my irritated. policy. Yeah, you know my policy on uh, protesting in the road is uh, you need to be run over immediately. I um, hate it. They didn't like that. I'm consistent on that one too. I'm like, get out of the fucking street. Get yeah. out of the fucking street, people. I'm like that guy. Do you remember him when, uh, like, they they like walking across a cross or they're blocking a whole crosswalk and they got like a flag and a sign. This guy in like nurse nurse scrubs comes up and he's like, people gotta go to work. Get out yeah. of the fucking street. Get out of the fucking flag, street, man. Throws it. <laughs> he throws their flag over a fence and shit. That guy was a hero. He's like, everybody's gotta go to work. Get yeah. out of the goddamn street. Are the guys that are like peeling those idiot glue protests, the ones who glue themselves to the ground, they'll just grab oh. them and tear their hands off. Shit. Uh, Why would you so, glue yourself to the ground? What the fuck's wrong with you? I don't even think that works. Like, I, don't, I don't think you can glue your skin to asphalt. Uh, but the, they tried uh, it. The protests that I hate the most, um, this just happened. There were a couple environmentalists in some some European country, mm -hmm. and they uh, they rubbed red paint or something on a Monet. Yeah, uh, I like I like the art destruction protests. Um, you do? Yeah. Um, like, Monet didn't do shit to you, though. Like, why are you fucking up Monet's work? Like, fuck Well, shit women like Monet. That's uh, that's well, part that's of true, my issue yeah. with them. I don't think they're actually ruining the paintings, but I would, be, I would be okay if they were ruining the paintings, too. I don't really like um, art in museums. I no, don't they like can, the whole... They, can, they have methods to clean the new paint off and, like, keep oh, yeah. the shit underneath. Because they restore those things already. Yeah. I, I learned that from Ghostbusters too. <laughs> I feel like it's it's at least becoming a new kind of art with uh, when they're destroying it, which I'm fine with. And the people upset don't understand why they like the painting anyway, so who fucking cares? I mean, I like Monet. He's cool. Yeah. He was cool. I mean, he's dead now, which makes him cooler. Art is the one world where you get way fucking cooler when you die. Yes. Like, no one wants to hang out with you while you're alive. So, oh God, I guess he's going gonna to paint dots all over shit. It's fucking weird. Every every time. It's like, that doesn't look like a lady. I mean, we keep, we keep telling him, humoring him. Then he dies like, God, I wish that guy was around. I want to invite him to the party. Those rocks are near where I grew up. Oh, the slanty ones. They're in like yeah. uh, they're in like every Western movie. The Vasquez rocks. Have you taken pictures by them? Yeah. Like, is there like a picture of like an eight year old Dick Masterson hanging out yes. on the rocks? Yeah. Was Jared from Subway there? <laughs> I uh, I kicked him out. We had a very similar scene to the Schnitz and Gruben. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a big fat spectacle of yourself, Jared. It's like 12 inches isn't enough. I'm going to Jimmy John's. <laughs> Get the gargantuan. That might help. <laughs> that might help. Watch part of the accountant. Mm, okay, maybe. I like the uh, the counselor is a great fucking movie. Since that one guy died, Cormac uh, McCarthy. Yeah. The counselor. The counselor? With um, Javier, uh, Javier Bardem, Cameron Diaz, Penelope Cruz, Michael Fassbender, uh, and um, Brad Pitt. Mm. Great fucking movie. Dark and depressing as fuck, but so good. I thought you were going to say The Substitute. Um, or wait, did Treat Williams just, just die? I don't know. Yeah, I think he did. I just keep uh. seeing... All this shit about Cormac McCarthy dying. Yeah. You know, I've watched a lot of Japanese videos, and those rope that rope play is not very good. It's not erotic at all. <laughs> uh, some girl did it to me at Burning Man. She knew she was like a bondage. She Japanese. roped you up. Yeah, she tied me all up like that. Uh, did she like hang you from something, or were you were you standing? I was standing when she did okay. it, but it was set up so you could be 
There was like a spot where you could be hung up from it. Oh my god, you just slapped the shit out of her. That was nice. <laughs> I've never gotten that. Like I've seen. I know that there's the the fetish, the suspension fetish, where it's like yeah. just hanging there is like the thing that gets you off. Apparently, and I'm like, but that doesn't. Uh, that I don't think that would work for me. It annoys me. Um, I've been with girls who like it, and it's annoying because you have to do all the work. It's like uh, it just turns into like chores. Like, uh, and those knots are fucking complicated. You ever yeah. see? Uh, so I follow an Instagram account called uh, Rope Fairy, and it's like it's all these okay. different like tie up things. Like a gay guy that does no, rope no, no, stuff. A, no, it's a chick. It's a <laughs> okay, chick. but she like. I was like, what the fuck is this? And I want it's like how to tie up and do all this stuff. And I was like, guys, looks like so much work. Like, I just want to. Yes. This is what, like, I just want to have sex. Like, I don't want to sit here for 38 minutes tying and then untying <laughs> someone. God, what a disaster. Junk Kelpin says, I freak out when restrained. Hopefully I'll never get cuffed. I'll probably tear up both my shoulders. George Floyd said the same thing. <laughs> it fucking hurts to get handcuffed. Yeah, I love it whenever you see like the um uh, the like civil rights like videos or whatever where they're yeah. like he had lacerations on his wrist. I'm like, yeah, if you get handcuffed, you're gonna have lacerations on your wrist. They're yeah, they're metal like rough things and you get tugged by them. And they're like, I don't know how they're engineered to like dig into your wrist. I got they handcuffed me last time I got swatted. Uh and at the last minute they gave me two cuffs, but it was still like it still hurt for days afterwards. <laughs> is this like a Family Guy type of joke? I don't know who that is, Randolph Scott. Randall Scott, I don't know. Oh, this is my favorite joke is coming up, and it's not where are the white women at. Like, that's funny. <laughs> but it's the resume guy, and they're like, what's your resume? He's like, rape, murder, arson, and rape. Yeah. Like, you said rape twice. Rape twice. Well, I, le I really like rape. <laughs> <laughs> they got Nazis. They got like a fake Hell's Angel with a with his ape hangers coming out of his it's, dick. That wouldn't weird. have been easier to get an actual motorcycle there instead of a uh, handlebars on his belt. You're know, like El Guapo or whatever from Three Amigos. Lawrence yeah. of Arabia is there. They knew. This was a problem even in 1974. <laughs> Randolph Scott was probably the most famous Western actor of the golden era of film, says Chemical Serenity. Uh, okay. See, I don't think the golden era of film was actually the golden era of film. I feel like it was kind of like tin or brass. Like watching those old movies makes me want to die 99 They're so slow, time. man. Yeah. Like everything like, before Star Wars is just slower than shit. I watched Citizen Kane because I had to. It's like, it's fine, I guess, but gosh, it's the greatest movie of all time. Not really. It's just kind of funny when he's like, I lost a million dollars a year. Well, it means I'll go out of business in about 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a big flex. It was awesome. Oh, shit. Shoots him with a Derringer. That's just disrespectful. <laughs> That's his little prostitute gun. Yeah. Epic Mike, what are you talking about? Of course we're going to knock pegging in the chat. Don't get pegged. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It's Magic Johnson. I love how Magic Johnson's HIV got cured by, by it being Money. fake the whole time. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. By the way, I don't have HIV anymore. Oh, wait, because it's AIDS now? No, I didn't have that either. Oh. Huh? <laughs> how'd, that, how'd that work?
Did you watch that Showtime series of him? No, uh, Magic Johnson? No. Yeah, and the Lakers. That was pretty good. I don't watch much of anything. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> They got, they even got the white hands joke there. Yeah. <laughs> that was the same thing uh, Zero Wolf said in Apocalypto. He just said it in. Head him off at the pat. That was the main guy in Apocalypto, Zero Wolf. The bad guy, yeah. The guy who's oh, like uh -oh. eight feet of muscle and awesome. Yeah. He's one of the most menacing villains. I love that movie. That movie was fucking great, man. Yeah. It's too bad Mel Gibson hated Jews enough to get canceled so hard. Well, that's uh, part of what's too bad, yeah. That's one way to phrase it. Have you seen Mel Gibson in that uh, photo of him looking like uh, uh, Goldberg going no. into the gym? He's gigantic. Is he? I yeah. guess getting canceled from Hollywood, he's like, well, I better go to the gym now. <laughs> he looks like he's going to start the Fourth Reich himself. <laughs> like, his arms are just huge. Isn't he making a comeback? He's got a movie coming out or something, right? Oh, he did Does that. He? Uh, he did that Santa movie, right? Is it coming out with the Daily Wire? Um, oh, yeah. I, th I think I saw that. It wasn't very good. Oh, speaking of movies and sh shocking, uh, you remember yeah. the Ernest movies, right? Oh, dude, I love those. His nephew, who's also his biographer, just followed me on Twitter today. Randomly. Oh, wow. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, like the Ernest? <laughs> Fucking Miak. Uh, Ernest Scared Stupid. It's one of my favorite movies as a kid. I loved all of them. Ernest, or Ernest Goes to Jail. Ernest, uh, Ernest Goes to camp was it yeah the ernest christmas one ernest saves christmas mandy says nick can you please give dick a hug he looks like he needs one from a dear sweet friend like you <laughs> what no next time, next time i see him I, i'm gonna hug him i'm just hung over <laughs> <laughs> i sobered up three times today that's my problem <laughs> yeah the problem is sobering up yeah i've been trying to drink less yeah, I've, I've been trying that for 20 years. How's it work? How's it going? I'm doing okay. You're doing okay? Uh, yeah, I've been having like one drink on shows lately. Because yeah. people want toasts and stuff. That's the main reason. But yeah. Before my vacation, man, I was drinking like nine drinks in a show. Yeah. It's like, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the Irish. <laughs> Isn't Mel Gibson making the sequel to The Passion of the Christ? Yes. Yes, he is. He the is? Passion That's the... real? I think so. What's there left to tell? I don't know, but I want to know. Like I, I imagine, like, the days, like, from the resurrection until his ascension, right? Like, the, the 40 days? I don't fucking... I have no idea what Jesus did. He, like, teleported around. It was weird. Oh, like Muhammad? Yeah. He jumped into space from that well, rock. Well, see, Jesus teleported around to the disciples. Muhammad teleported into underage women, like girls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got that one, too. I was making fun of the uh, Christian protests. They're like, you would never say this about uh, Islam. <laughs> why like, not? Why would I not say this about Islam? <laughs> Muhammad is a pedophile. How, what do you, like that? What do you mean? <laughs> I I uh I took um Anna Kasparian from the Young Turks and I drew Muhammad onto her. Here I'll show you. A second. Okay. Uh let me see. It's my have it as one of my avatars. So here we go. Um where's my God damn it. Okay, here we go. Look at look at me here. So there we go. There's Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. That's Muhammad. That's cool. Wow, well, yeah. It's Anna you Kasparian. Bro. Yeah. I think I made the beard a little too light, though. It's like a Norwegian Muhammad. Uh, needs a big, thick beard. Mm hmm. Movie Night Passion of the Christ of Dick. I don't think it's on Amazon. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I Is it fun. good? Is it fun? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Is it funny? Non stop laugh riot when he's got a <laughs> cat of nine tails ripping the skin off his ribs. <laughs> 
I don't know. It was, it was fine. But like, yeah. okay, this is black me, I guess. So uh, Lady Raggett's and I were in college. <laughs> came out. We went and fought in theaters. Yeah. And I, I walked into like the cafe at our college. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these two old women are sitting there and they're like, even if you didn't know the story, it's such a great movie. And I'm like, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you didn't know the story, it's not a good movie at all. The no, guy gets the shit whipped out of him. <laughs> like, like this, it doesn't make any sense if you don't know. Like, first of all, you, I don't know how you are in like the Western world where this movie is, and you don't know like some semblance of the story of Jesus. Why would that be important? Why do you need this to be a good movie, even if it Jesus doesn't exist? That was <laughs> what does I that think, give you? That was the time when I really started. Like that was the time in my life where I'm like Christian apologists are really in, like I'm a Christian. Yeah. And like I went to church today and I'm still like god that, that was fucking annoying though cuz that movie wasn't <laughs> it's only good because it's Jesus. Like and you're relying on so much like yeah. You to truncate so much exposition like why does this guy dying even fucking matter? No. We won't, we don't need to get into literary criticism. I hear that gets people in trouble. It does. <laughs> Just don't let Mel Gibson hear about it. Or God, I guess. He's the author. <laughs> uh, ben S. C. It's um Penelope Barrel Strength is the one that I like the most. Although this mm. is batch 14, and someone told me batch 14 was trash. Compared to the other ones. So, but I haven't opened this one. My last bottle was terrific, but I think it was batch 13. That's what I, that's the Penelope I like. Rackets eats bugs. What the fuck? What is eating the bug? What are you talking about? Do you? You eat bugs? I didn't know. No, I hate bugs. Like, I'm terrified of them. I hate bugs of all. (laughs) I scream like a child. (laughs) At bugs? At all bugs? I hate all bugs. Like they're gross. They're weird. They got those little legs that land on you. It's strange. My eight year old loves bugs. Uh, Okay. She was catching dragonflies in her hands today and she kept coming up to her mom and I, and she's like, look dad. And I'm like, get the fucking bug (laughs) away from me. I don't want a dragonfly. Do you guys have uh, lightning bugs out there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I sometimes will sit out on my deck with a flashlight. And like yeah. try and Morse code stuff to the lightning bugs to see if they understand. <laughs> they do respond to that, by the way. Oh, really? They blink back to fuck you? Yeah. To they just to... don't say anything or they speak yeah. a different language. I don't know. Yeah. Watch the clip. You ate a bug. There's not a bug. You okay. ate a bug on stream by accident? I guess while I was. You had a fly in there? You had a Biden fly situation? I or hope Mike so. Pence fly? Oh, no. I wonder what it looked like. I'll have to watch it. I can't watch it while the movie's on. Why is he looking at his penis? <laughs> you ate a bug, King? You ate? No, I'm. If I ate a bug, I feel like cool. Now I'm African. I'm with it. Like I don't. I don't have a problem with mm. it. I hate bugs, in general. But if I eat them, I ate some bugs on that uh, dumb Odyssey Games thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't so bad. Did you you didn't win that though? No, I got second. Um, I tricked that guy into getting it into tattooing himself though. So that's oh, that was a... that was to win. You had to get a tattoo. Yeah, they sent us tat- home tattoo kits. I love that flying horse in the scene. Uh, you had to tattoo <laughs> the Odyssey logo on yourself. <laughs> Have you ever seen them do that? Have you ever seen where they do the wild hogs? They put a pile of tannerite down. Oh my God. And then no. cover it with corn and shoot it from like a mile away when the hogs come. They do that with the horses just did, except it's like a thousand pound fucking feral hog. It's awesome. I assume that's for uh, conservation purposes that they're getting rid no, of feral hogs. Feral hogs are just a menace. Like yeah. they, they'll destroy everything. There was an ant or something on your cracker. Cool. Again. Oh, God. That's me after a Friday stream. Oh, God. Here it comes. We're almost at the throw out your hips, the French mistake part. I had a bug on the backside of my cracker. Cool. Like, 
Again, cool. That's awesome. I didn't taste it. Now I'm depressed. This movie is wildly violent. <laughs> it's a cartoon. Oh, it's a studio. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. The French mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yes. <laughs> Mel Gibson got to make fun of gay people more than just, or Mel Gibson, Mel Brooks. Yeah. Got to make fun of gay people more than just about anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on, girls. Wait, the gay man seduced the Western man? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello, ladies. <laughs> That's a funny Hitler joke right there. That was good. They lose me right after the bunker scene. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hitler saluting in the background. Why is he doing that? <laughs> <laughs> His face is so weird. He just got cream pied in the bathroom. Yeah. It still is like San Francisco. This is the first recorded instance of whiteface in cinema. Uh -huh. Robert Downey Jr. should try that next. Actually, he should just try to not look like a fucking leukemia patient. Oh, does he? Oh he my god, did he white face in the in that um, in Tropic Thunder under the black face. 
What does he look like now? Oh, guys, ter- like he looks like he's dead. Oh no. He's on a. He's a vegan now. Oh, wait, is this him? He looks yeah, like a Moby's dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, head yeah, shaved. He looks, he looks awful. Yeah, that looks bad. Headley is unrecognizable. Yeah, no shit. So why you don't be vegan? I don't understand how hard it is to not be vegan. Just eat anything that comes from an animal. Yeah. How many vegan chicks swallow? All of them? <laughs> don't tell them, guys. He's not unarmed. He's got his Derringer. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. This is a common trope in Mel Brooks movies. Like, watch the movie in the movie. Very yeah. meta. Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Are they ever doing another Spaceballs? I don't know. How could you? Like, yeah. John I thought Candy. that about Beetlejuice. Aren't they doing a Beetlejuice too? I don't know. Is uh, Alec Baldwin in it again? <laughs> I don't know. The, how did the ghost get so fat? <laughs> Alec Baldwin and Winona Ryder in it again. Let me see. Dude, so yeah, I watched Beetle Dracula. I watched Bram Stoker's Dracula the other day. Winona Ryder was so fucking hot back then. I know. Willem Dafoe is going to be in Beetlejuice, too. Oh, wow. Is he Beetlejuice? Because that might be cool. Uh, I think it's Michael Keaton. Oh, shit. Is he in a wheelchair yet? Like, God, he's old. He's still hanging in there. A little bit less makeup. That girl from Wednesday is going to be in it. Uh. Detroit? Come on, you can ride on my horse. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I want them to make another another forty eight hours, and then Beverly yeah. Hills Cop four. Yeah, that'd be good. I love the Beverly Hills Cop movies. They're so fucking funny. They are doing Beverly Beverly Hills Cop 4. Wait, but is it oh, like going to be Is it going to be Leslie Jones? Is it Jones? Michael B Jordan? Not to be Leslie Jones, is Eddie uh, Murphy's character? Uh. See, I said I wanted a Beverly Hills Cop 4, but now that someone said it's being made, I don't want it. Like yeah. I, I realized the error of my ways. Let's see. Huh. Eddie Murphy. You're right though. They're gonna cram Leslie it's Jones in it so somewhere. Fucking bad. Like they're gonna <sighs> take away. I don't know everything why everything has to be passed on. Yeah. To some sassy girl. <laughs> Do I see your tip? Yeah, I do. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to ask you from Xander's Rants about your role in the TV show based on a true story. Oh, did you see that? I didn't. This guy's asking about it. What the fuck uh, happened? Yeah, um, I just have a little bit part in this uh, show that's out on um, 
on Paramount, I think, plus right now. Okay. Uh I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the show. I don't know if it's any good, but it is it's funny. Um I didn't tell anybody about it, so I found out that it was out when people started tweeting tweeting me about it. Uh like, you oh, watch you're it. In, you're in now, this TV here. Show. Oh, let me find it. Yeah. I don't think we can't like copyright, right? Like we can't want, we can't pull it up on here. Oh yeah, I god, I don't know. It's it's a small clip. Um, I, yeah, I assume you right. don't own the copyright. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. I, I talked to the studio. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. You can just show me. You can blur everything else out. Smile Metaphor has resubscribed for two months. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, some British, um, I think some British company wanted to use a couple of clips of mine from the Johnny Depp trial in their documentary mm -hmm. about Johnny Depp. And someone someone messaged me. They're like, Nick, do you know you're in a you're in a British documentary about Johnny Depp? I'm like, yes, I do. They they asked me a lot, and I I was such an asshole. They're like, can you please sign the release? I'm like, but it's in the email, and it's I have to open it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sitting in bed right now. I don't want to sign the fucking thing. Uh, it's good. They edited it well. We shot for like um, we just, it, it was like a one night thing my part's really small so we shot downtown like is this is this a show based on a true story or is it like it's called based on a true story it's like a true crime uh satire oh okay but it's like a t it's like a it's like a fiction it's a tv thing. show gotcha yeah, okay. yeah yeah i didn't know if it was like an actual true crime show like based on a true story no i think it's making fun of those i think let me tell you about henry lee lucas like oh okay that sounds good my um my 10 year old was hanging around uh, the her younger siblings, which are eight and five, respectively. And she's like, Dad, I've been learning about serial killers. Jack the Ripper mutilated the bodies of his victims. <laughs> and they were hookers. <laughs> right. And my, my five-year-old's like, what is mutilated? I'm like, you know what? We're going to talk about it later. And I looked at her and I'm like, can we not talk about <gasps> The mutilating right of like prostitutes just, right now. Yeah, I mean, they deserved it. You have to understand because they were 304s and they deserved yeah. what they got. But it's a little like you're 10, so you're old enough to learn about disemboweling women. But um, the five-year-old isn't. Uh, Michelle Yuri resubscribed for 11 months is high. Um, well, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Look, Blazing Saddles is a classic. Um, couldn't make it today. Movie. It's important to stress that part. You can't, you couldn't make it today. I've been trying to not say that the entire time. Oh, I love like, saying it. I it's so much consciously fun. didn't say it the entire movie <laughs> specifically. Just because some asshole on Twitter was like, uh, how many times are you gonna say you can't make make this today? About, you know, how many times are you gonna say that during the show? Oh, like, no, fuck yeah. you. I'm not gonna say it at all. Fuck you. I hope you die. Uh, <laughs> if I would have known that, I would have said it the whole time. Shit. That's why I didn't tell you. Mm. See, I know how you operate. Like I have figured this out. Other people, <laughs> other people are not. They're like, it's pretty why simple. Is Dick, why is Dick like this? I'm like, because you keep answering him. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the most basic formula. Okay. Have you guys ever seen like Roadrunner? You got. It's the it's the simplest formula. It's the simplest one. Like, uh, I can't believe you did that. Oh, really? Well, watch me do it again. <laughs> did he really say that? I did. Here. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, well, to the chat. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> Schwiggles McWiggles <laughs> has resubscribed for 41 months, says you can say it as much as you want because it's true. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, like in the first three minutes, you have several different slurs. Mm -hmm. You have you have a, a Chinaman passing out and getting a slur. You have uh, you have uh, a gay slur, and you have the N word, like all happening right in the first five minutes of the movie, and it keeps going the entire yeah. time. So it's uh, it's fantastic. But guys, uh, we're gonna we're gonna log off. I know I, a lot of times I'll do two movies tonight, but. I was out at a lake all day today, which makes me want to die. And I have to go back to the fucking lake tomorrow, which Why? I don't want to do. Uh, family. Like, oh. they, like birthday parties for four nieces and nephews today. You have so many birthdays, you got to do it over two days? So my, um, my wife's grandpa has 51 grandchildren. Wow. And I How many only wives count, does he have? 
or uh, great grandchildren, great grandchildren. Sorry, okay, great grandchildren. Okay. But see, I only account for five of those. That means there's forty six of these little fuckers running around. Oh my god, aren't me. And like, uh, so you guys can have your own city, like the Johnson. Uh, it's it's insane. Rock Ridge, yeah, <laughs> we get our own Rock Ridge. So like, there's a whole bunch of them. But no, so uh, we had we had four birthday parties today at the lake, and then tomorrow, uh, my mother in law is. Like they have a camper out at the lake, but my my father in law is working, so she's gonna okay. just be there alone. <clears throat> so that means that I guess that my family is going out to hang out and okay. just sit, which is fine. But being at the lake is you know, exhausting. Exactly, you're just yeah. out in the sun because they don't uh -huh. have trees on a fucking beach. Like just put it's. We know it's not a real beach. Just put trees there anyway. There were trees until you cleared them. Just put them back. Yeah. So there's shade. Oh god, I hate it. Anyway, but uh, but yeah. Did you All right, see guys. the? Uh, oh yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. What? What do you got? Uh, we made a uh, we made a diversity and inclusion and uh, women empowerment uh, sh shade initiative in L.A. Did you happen to see this one? Let me let no, me see this. No, a shade initiative. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a really amazing thing that uh, women in city council. Uh, let me see uh, what item it. were you selling in the TV show? Uh, I was selling. I'm selling. Um, uh, merchandise based off a of serial killer, so oh, like okay. T-shirts, and I'm I'm like a scumbag trying to sell uh, uh, serial killer uh, T-shirts at, at a at a crime convention. Was it like a real serial killer? Like, do you have some examples? No, it's not, it's just a comedy show. It's, it's like a, yeah, the main character is the serial killer, so I like bust the serial killer's balls. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, it was fun. They told me to tone it down on the first couple takes because I was being, you know, funny. Yeah. And they're like, uh, no, this is supposed to be very like, serious. Yeah, yeah, tone it, tone it down a little bit. You're too funny. And then they on the next take, they came out and said, tone it back up. It's much funnier the way you're doing it. If you were going to sell serial killer merch, who would you pick? Like what guy? Ooh, like a real serial killer? Yeah. Um, like who's your favorite serial um, not killer? Not Hitler. I, I would never say that. He's my favorite serial killer. Um, he doesn't even qualify. He he killed too many people. I don't know. Who would be a good Who's this, My who's favorite serial, serial killer? killer is Henry Lee Lucas. What did he do? Uh, well, he usually would just like run over hitchhikers or or like murder hitchhiking women a oh, lot. Okay. Um, but he only he was only convicted of two murders, but he confessed to like three hundred and sixty, and they have no idea how many he actually killed. Like, because he confessed with like enough details for it to be convincing, and they don't know how he knew the details. I but he see. also might have just been smartly like grabbing info because he really liked to be interviewed by the police. Does Christopher Dorner count? Is he? <laughs> yeah. Is he is, yeah, he had, he was cool. I liked him. Chris Dorner isn't real. That's just LL Cool J. Change oh. my fucking mind. He looks exactly like LL Cool J does. They they do have a twin thing going on. Yeah. Um, so the, the Sombrita bus shade bus shade obscures an important story about women in trans. <laughs> These things, these fucking shades here. Well, that one shade, yeah, that was their debut model. Uh, I'm trying to find this picture of all this, all these fat women that work for the Department of Transportation in L.A. launching their stupid shade, the stick with a thing on it. God, that, they're yeah, because if you're fat, that that is not keeping the sun off of you at all. No, <laughs> it's horrible. It wouldn't. Sh it doesn't shade anything. Their flanks would be fucking cooked. <laughs> Just a white streak yeah. down the middle. <laughs> uh, and it costs. Let me see how much it cost them. Uh, is it ten thousand? Uh, yeah, ten thousand dollars. This pole with a sheet with a sheet of metal on it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, it's official. La sombrita. <gasps> I'm sending it to you. This is what this we're doing with our like money in LA. <laughs> yes, a stick with fucking hell. With sheet metal on it. Uh, hold Click on, on that one. It's got yeah, all the women gotta... like proudly looking at their invention of a stick with Ooh, a... that's a big lady right there. Yeah. She's not gonna get shaded by that. La Sombrita, our shade and lighting pilot. Oh, it's got a light too. Because <laughs> it's blocking the natural light, so you need another light. Yes. LA this dot official gender, gender equality action plan. action plan. Gender equity action plan. 
voila, here is our gender equity action plan. I do like that. They, they had to have men who know how to operate the cameras. <laughs> every camera <laughs> every is operated by a guy. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, what the what a fucking weird thing. LA Department of Transportation. So wait, but it's uh this this article says um first things first, La Sombrita is not a bus shelter and it was not funded with government money. Now that we've got okay. some of the frequently misreported facts out of the way, let's get into how a prototype sunshade deployed at four Los Angeles bus stops came to dominate social media over the last week. Because it's retarded, that's why. <laughs> it's, the dumbest, it's fucking insane. <laughs> Oh uh God. yeah that was it uh yeah it's like these these fat chicks getting on planes oh like, yeah we talked about one of those today um i think i still have it up they're so big they're so big like the one chick who couldn't walk through first class is so big uh, here it is. And she turns sideways, and you're like, oh, it must just be those, like, she's got those freakishly large hips. And then she turns sideways, and you're like, nope. Freakishly her, large everything. Yeah, her ass to navel ratio, it's, it's like four feet across. Oh, yeah. yeah she's playing. fat even for a Samoan. This, this is the Look at, she's got a lymphedema in her armpit. Look at that. Look at how big this is. I was talking about this lady uh, earlier this week. The same article, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're paying twice as much for the same experience. Bitch, it's not the same experience. No. I'm not spilling over my armrests. Oh. Human rights issue? No, it's not a human rights issue. Jalen Cheney. See, I was see, I was complaining because um, if you fly and you check a bag, right? You have yeah. to pay, if you're over 50 pounds, if you're in coach, if you're over yeah. 50 pounds, you have to pay five bucks per pound over. And I'm like, but wait, I weigh 185 pounds. So 185 plus 50, that means 235 pounds is allotted to me. This chick walks on the plane at 380 plus. <laughs> like she should have to pay five bucks more per pound over two, th like over my allotment. That's, I don't, I don't think it's fair that she I pays love the, the her, her complaints are, preposterous uh she says we need the policies to be more standardized at the bare minimum we need every airline to have a policy that tells people of size how to navigate their airline so that's the that's the problem here we just need to tell fat people how to navigate well here's here's how you navigate it yeah your ass touches one seat and your Gunt touches the other, and you have a fucking CPAP machine just to live through the plane flight. Like, Maybe you're they, yeah, go ahead. So, you're so huge <laughs> that your body's trying to collapse in on itself, and you need a machine to force air into your nose just to keep you alive. Like, that's how many McDoubles you have eaten. Maybe they really don't know what the things like the tables are for or the armrests. Like, maybe that's where the confusion is coming from. Like, what are these flaps? Like, well, normal people just put them down and they eat off of them. <laughs> you understand eating, right? They are acutely aware of eating. <laughs> All plus size passengers are appreciative of knowing the rules. It eliminates many misunderstandings. What are you not understanding about? Can you imagine being the guy who has this seat next to her? Uh, I've this been that one? guy way too many times. Yeah, I, like I've never sat next to someone this obese. Uh, but coming back from Hawaii one time, Lady Raggets and I, I saw this guy at the airport. He was kind of standing around. He's, he's like a bigger guy, but he wasn't huge. Yeah. I was like, oh, that guy's interesting. Like, I don't know why he caught my eye because he he's like tall, too. He was probably yeah. six four, six five, but he wasn't super wide. Turns out he was sitting next to me on the plane. We get on the plane, <laughs> and I'm in the middle seat. I always give Lady Raggett's the window seat because she likes to keep the shade down, and that is more valuable to me than laying my head on the side. Is like making sure mm -hmm. that shade stays down. And then this guy sits next to me in the aisle seat, and he spills over into my seat. Uh, I'm like, you're not even big. Like, how is this happening? Yeah. It was the most uncomfortable fucking like five hours from Hawaii to LA. And uh, I was like, God, ugh. anyway, well, here's one more, one more. You got to see this one. Oh, this, this one you a, uh, sent me here. No, no, no. This is a new one. Oh, um, okay. this is 
This is slam, uh, fat slam poetry. Ooh. Uh, please, please uh, direct your attention to how the woman is so fat that she needs to crane her neck forward to speak into the microphone because she can't get the mic stand close enough to her body. It's okay. a YouTube video. Okay, here, I'll play it in just a second. This Rachel okay. Wiley one, right? Yeah, yeah, button poetry. Oh, my God. Uh, J79 resubscribed for 28 months. He says, hey, Nick, how's it going, bud? Pretty good. Got an MRI, an MRA of the head and neck, one with contrast. Head has felt like it's been jerking back and vertigo. I'm hoping to get to the bottom of this. It's just random, usually lying down or moving my head to the side. It's just the damnedest thing. It's not constant. Thank God. Weird, dude. Don't go to the doctor for that shit. Just uh, get some magnets, put them around your head. That'll clear everything up. Yeah, or like drink more or something. I don't know. What do you... Doctors, like you go to the doctor and they scan, like any any joint or muscle pain, they're like, oh, well, we got to do an MRI right away. Yeah. And then they do it and they're like, well, I don't know. It's in your joint. You... We got to get in there. And it's like, well, what do you mean? Like, what are you going to do? Well, nothing. Well, you can rehab it. I kind of want to go. It's weird. But okay, so hear this. Rachel Wiley, yeah. the fat joke. Yeah. Turns out the fat joke was her like all along. Oh, this is in Minneapolis. Okay. The old Holy joke goes. God, that's patient a walks into the doctor's office, says, Doctor, it hurts when I move my arm like this. Oh, yeah, I got. Uh, I hate when people do slam poetry because it always <laughs> sounds the same. They yeah. add their inflection like a black pastor in Alabama, <laughs> but turns out they're white as the driven snow. Oh, God, I, fuck, I, hate, I hate the affectation. Sorry. I was in speech in high school. And we went, uh, I was in a suburb. Like a speech class? Speech giving like class? Spe like the uh, speech activity, right? Right. Uh, and and so you, like, we went, and I was in creative expression. You write your own speech. It's got to be five minutes. Exact, like, if it's exactly five minutes, you get extra points. If it's longer or shorter, you oh, lose points. Okay. And we go to, we go to Minneapolis for one of the meets, like, with the inner city school kids are. <laughs> And they wrote their own. It was all black chicks who wrote shitty poetry. And it was like God. 48 seconds long. It's like, bitch, do you, do you not uh, like under this is as they read their their like poem about a weave or whatever. And then they it'd be done in like a minute. And you're like, well, this is supposed to be five minutes long. Like we all put effort into this. You guys just wrote something that like it was weird. But anyway, I hate I hate I hate women in poetry. Mm -hmm. What should I do? And the doctor says, so don't move your arm like that. Now, fat girl walks into doctor's office, says, doctor, walks, it hurts when I doubt. move my arm like this. What should I do? And the doctor says, have you considered weight loss surgery? It's a good question. Fat girl walks into the doctor for a flu shot and gets a lecture about BMI. Yes. Fat girl walks into the doctor's with an earache and gets asked if she's ever eaten a salad. <laughs> fat girl. I walks don't know if the doctor the said that. <laughs> Bite, and the doctor obsesses over how low her blood pressure is low for such a fat these, person. Anyway. These are dangerous things, woman. Three times before he'll believe it, forgets completely about the mass of purple spider venom that brought her here. No spider with. is that big enough to kill your fat ass. To ask about antidepressants and gets prescribed exercise instead. Because oh my hell, I mean, notoriously good at working on depression. And obviously fat bodies now. Never exercise and stay you're definitely fat. not and exercising. Fat girl walks <laughs> to the doctor's office for a standard three month follow up appointment, and the doctor says, "Have you considered that weight loss surgery yet?" Fat She's going to the doctor a lot, don't you think? Game three. I've never been to a doctor fat. three months so twice in a row. Stops walking into the you could have just said office. fat girl stops walking girl then we'd believe it into the world and says world it hurts to exist like this and the world Lose says weight. so stop existing like that amen that girl walks through a world that would rather she slice herself open yep. than to Ugh. exist as she does side effects be damned fat girl walks through a world <laughs> overrun we're just wondering where all the chicken nuggets are who claim to be concerned about her health side effects be damned what side fat effects girl like walks into the losing world weight and still typical fat person always worried about the sides to love her fat body someone has to i guess says stop glowing
glorifying obesity. Please stop. That girl walks into the world and says, I do not owe you shrinking. No, we're trying to know, keep you from dying. I don't I do know why, but we are. owe you thinness. They call losing weight shrinking. Thinness or desired thinness because you assume thinness equals health. For that matter, I do not owe you health perceived or otherwise I mean, to receive do. basic respect. Yeah. I am deserving Because we have care. to pay for your government health care. I am deserving yeah. to exist. That whole COVID I thing kind of shot that I down. I am deserving of first no harm done. And the world Well, you did harm your BMI. Is the best joke we've heard all day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> this chick is not a comedian. Look, she took up the whole screen when she walked by. Did you see that? <laughs> fucking hate. Wasn't that I, great? Ugh, I I hate slam poetry. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And it's, yeah. Oh god. There's no other fat girls on the channel. I checked, but I got to find. I got to find one where it's just all fat broads doing yeah. poetry that they wrote themselves. That would be good. Have you ever seen like the when they do the 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 disabled people poetry? No. You haven't seen those? No. Hold on. I wasn't going to do this. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, disabled poetry. They used to do this on PBS. Uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Special poetry slam. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Oh no, name line. My name is William, and I like fingernail polish. Why would they do this? Because for people like us to go to hell. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like applesauce. I like what? Applesauce. I think he said. I think he said applesauce. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, on somebody help that fucking guy out. Is that his first day on the chair? And I like shoes. Like shoes. Oh, That's nice. God, she. I thought she was normal. My name is Debbie. I like antiques. Who does? They get worse and worse. Everyone. <laughs> Oh, they're having a they're playing bumper boats. <laughs> My name is Scott Micken and I like ice skating. He's what, like, he, I did he not joking? say. He's like, I did not say ice skating. <laughs> My name is Ruthie and I like God. Okay. My name is Amy and I like to sing. Ooh. Look at this, Chad. My oh. name is Travis. I am the mirror star. What? I am the mirror star? <laughs> My name is William, and I like fingernail polish. Wait, he already went. Yeah, you said that last time, William. <laughs> it's supposed to like something different this time. I am the morning star. What did he say? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, the Chad, the no part? neck downs. <laughs> I don't know why. Is this a David Lynch like movie? <laughs> she likes punk rock. I think she might be normal. I think she's like a helper. It's hard to tell with women if they're retarded or not. <laughs> It does Michael like snowshoeing this time? He likes tap dancing. My name is Scott Micken, and I like music. Music, okay. My name is okay. Chris, and I like dark chocolate. Oh, do you? <laughs> My name is Ruthie, and I like poetry and art. <laughs> My name is Amy, and I like to See? play jokes on people. She likes to play jokes on people. Like, joke is she doesn't belong go. in a wheelchair. I love hey, this. Fellas, I like beer. It's good for you. Yeah! <laughs> that guy's awesome! My name is William and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> what an what what an ender. What a, what a finishing move. 
<laughs> I like to wear dresses. <laughs> like I, I like beer. It's good for you. It's good for yes. you. No wonder that guy's traps go all the way to his ears. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a series of these things. Oh, it's no not the shit. only one. Yeah, there's a yeah. ton of them. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Anyway, we can we can wrap up the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can wrap up the show. Guys, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, hope you enjoyed the movie. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow night, normal time, uh, 11 p.m. Central on YouTube and Rumble. And we'll be doing a show. Catch you guys then. Uh, yeah. guys, oh, guys, go check out The Dick Show and The Biggest Problem in the Universe, obviously. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. All right, guys. Peace. Peace. Uh,